Job, chapter 24. For this reason from the Mighty One, times have not been hidden, and those knowing him have not seen his days. They reach the borders, they have taken a drove away violently. Indeed, they do evil. They lead away the donkey of the fatherless, they take in pledge the ox of the widow. They turn aside the needy from the way, together have hid the poor of the earth. Behold, wild donkeys in a wilderness, they have gone out about their work, seeking early for prey, a mixture for himself, food for young ones. They reap his provender in a field, and they glean the vineyard of the wicked. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing, and there is no covering in the cold. From the inundation of hills they are wet, and without refuge have embraced a rock. They take away violently the orphan from the breast, and they lay a pledge on the poor. Naked they have gone without clothing, and hungry have taken away a sheaf. They make oil between their walls, they have trodden wine presses and thirst. Men groan because of enmity, and the soul of pierced ones cries, and God does not give praise. They have been those rebelling against light, they have not discerned his ways, nor abide in his paths. The murderer rises at the light, he slays the poor and needy, and in the night he is a thief. And the eye of an adulterer has observed the twilight, saying, No eye beholds me, and he puts the face in secret. He has dug in the darkness houses, by day they shut themselves up, they have not known light, when together morning is death shade to them when he discerns the terrors of death shade. He is light on the face of the waters, their portion is vilified in the earth. He does not turn the way of the vineyards. Drought, also heat, consumes snow waters. Sheol, those who have sinned. The womb forgets him. The worm sweetens on him. He is remembered no more, and wickedness is broken as a tree, treating evil the barren who does not bear. And he does no good to the widow. And God has drawn the mighty by his power. He rises, and none believes in life. He gives to him confidence, and he is supported, and his eyes are on their ways. They were high for a little, and they are not, and they have been brought low. They are shut up as all others, and cut off as the head of an ear of grain. And if not now, who proves me a liar, and makes my word of nothing?'